And, you know, the reality is, is that um, the, the buying journey is, is really in the purchaser's hands now. We've all been talking about it for a long time in the new digital world with COVID. It's even, even more so that, you know, folks have so much information at their fingertips and that they, you know, they're really going to come to us on their own terms, um, choose when to engage with us, when to get information from us versus others and um, other resources and you just you always have to um, you have to be there and you have to be ready and the funnel just kind of tries to treat it like an assembly line which which doesn't really really work so um, I mean you know this Enrico and Mary at Market One what we try to do is we actually try to create um, you know through technology and process um, the ability to really you know, listen, put out feelers, if you will, um, to understand truly what's going on with a given contact or account. So, you know, if they engage for a period of time, it's like, ooh, we've got, you know, we've got some intent, we've got some interest, how do we capitalize on this? But then if they go dormant for some period of time, well, now we've got to we've got to try to re-engage them. And, and how is the, you know, how is the CFO interacting in relation to, you know, maybe one of their direct reports that's doing more of the, the research. So they're showing up more actively on the radar um, and really creating, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just a segmentation model, um, just like the funnel is. Um, but it's, you know, it turns it on its head in terms of, you know, really trying to be focused on how the customer is behaving and how we should react to that as opposed to trying to kind of force them through our prescribed um, list of stages 